The dystrophin glycoprotein complex is a critical structure in cardiac and skeletal muscle cell function and stability. Mutations to the genes involved in this protein complex can lead to muscular dystrophy, making it an important therapeutic target for research. It is tightly bound with the sarcoglycan complex, a set of four transmembrane proteins coded for by the gamma, alpha, beta, and delta sarcoglycan genes. The sarcoglycan complex has been shown in the literature to have a role in stabilizing the plasma membrane of both cardiac and skeletal muscle. Limb girdle muscular dystrophy, or LGMD, is a progressive neuromuscular condition with 34 known subtypes, each arising from different genetic mutations. LGMD progressively weakens skeletal muscle and in some subtypes, cardiac and respiratory muscles. Some of the more common subtypes of LGMD are caused by mutations in the genes that code for muscle proteins, including calpain-3, disferlin, the four sarcoglycans, and fucutin-related protein, or FKRP. Each protein plays a role in muscle function, and mutations to their respective genes can result in different phenotypes of muscular disease. Knowing the LGMD subtype of patients allows the specialists to anticipate serious cardiac and pulmonary issues and proactively screen these patients. Calpain-3 provides proteolytic activity to tag proteins for degradation. A mutation in this gene causes LGMD2A-R1. Dysferlin is thought to provide calcium-mediated anti-inflammatory and membrane-stabilizing effects. A mutation in this gene causes LGMD2B-R2. The alpha, beta, delta, and gamma sarcoglycans make up the sarcoglycan complex and mutations in these genes cause LGMD2C-R5, 2D-R3, 2E-R4, and 2F-R6 respectively. FKRP is a ribidol 5-phosphate transferase, which participates in the glycosylation of alpha-dystroglycan, a part of the dystrophin glycoprotein complex. This glycosylation ensures the proper anchoring of the muscle and basement membrane. A mutation in its gene causes LGMD2I-R9. The genetic mutations of all 34 subtypes of LGMD affect primarily the limb girdle muscle distribution, each having their own clinical features. For example, the age of onset for the sarcoglycanopathies is between 1 to 15 years of age and result in difficulty running and walking, calf hypertrophy, scapular winging, microglossia, lumbar hyperlordosis, and tendon contractures or scoliosis. Types 2C-R5, 2E-R4, and 2F-R6 develop heart failure. So does type 2I-R9, as well as prominent respiratory failure. There is still a long way to go with precisely characterizing LGMD and its many subtypes, but the correlation of specific genetic mutations with the growing understanding of LGMD phenotypes has striking benefits.